This pump developed a crack in uh, one of the cylinders. The thread was cut too deep in the factory and eventually developed a crack, which in turn developed a leak right here. I had a huge leak here where the end cap is. It was uh, one uh, bucket every five minutes. So in order to replace the cylinder, you need to take out the pump, the water maker from wherever it is, because there is absolutely no space to, to work in a locker. But Spectra didn't uh, make things any easier because, for example, to remove this uh, J2, I need to undo this bolt. And here there is no way to work with a wrench. Oh, the other interesting thing is that this is made in the USA and you have to have uh, Imperial uh, Allen wrenches to work on it. Uh, although these nuts are metric. As you can see, this is a 22, but you also have to have a very slim 21 because while unscrewing this, you need to get hold of this nut here. That's very, very important. So make sure you have one that is very slim. So what I have to do is remove this cylinder, but here you have this J tube here. And there is no way for me to unscrew this guy and uh, without unscrewing this, but there is literally no space here to work with a wrench. There is no space at all. So because of this, I need to take everything apart. I need to take these uh, four screws out. I need to open this just to be able to remove this end cap. So again, Clark pump, great design, energy saver, efficient, all of this. But whoever designed the assembly didn't think at all about the end user and having to service this. Uh. So by working with a screwdriver, a flat one, instead of a Phillips one on an angle, I was able to undo these uh, screws. Now that this is out, I can turn the assembly this way and I will be able to undo You have a ferrule here. Now we have to remove the end cap. And we don't have the special Spectra tool that uh, with two pins in here and here. It's like a wrench for a motorcycle shock absorber. But of course, we don't have that. We're gonna try with a normal engine oil filter and we'll see what happens. All right, this is the end cap. So in order to me remove the end cap, now I put back the J tube and uh, lightly tapping on it. And as you can see, the O-ring is in very good shape. There are no cracks. So of course, to take out this cylinder, I need to remove this plate here. So another operation, totally you know, unnecessary. If uh, whoever designed this assembly had in mind the end user and uh, a repair in the field. There you go. 
outlet. We're gonna change the O-rings that go here and the one that go that goes there at the base of the cylinder and we're gonna use some silicone grease for uh, the O-rings. very simple after you put some silicone grease around the o-rings the cylinder must get in now the rod is all the way so just put the screw so you have to put a lot of uh, silicone grease around the thread here for the end cap to slide nicely in and the end cap in theory should be hand tight but we're gonna use the filter tool to make it a little bit tighter but not too much we're gonna change the membrane it's an easy job you just unscrew the j-tube fitting here and then open the end cap Everything looks uh, looks fine. 